That's exciting to see you again uh, coming off uh, your injury. Uh, how do you attribute such a great start? Well, I think just motivation. Uh, I missed a lot of time. You know, I had to sit out there. You know, obviously last year with the Nighthawks, and then I missed with my summertime the Chiefs and the World Indoors. Uh, you know, was a big uh, was a big event that I didn't get to participate in, and uh, so just motivation of you know getting back and. You know, proving to everybody that I can still play. Yeah, well, you had uh, 10 points on Thursday and uh, 8 points uh, again tonight. They really ha haven't lost a step in the uh, with the uh, all the time off. Well, I, you know, I credit that a lot of that to uh, you know our, our trainer Stephen Lobsinger. You know, right from right from surgery, uh, you know, he really worked with me, um, took me in as many times as I could. Uh, you know, almost every day there for a while. And then my trainers, you know, I never, uh, never worked this hard in the off season before, and uh, you know, it's, uh, I feel good out there. I, I feel strong. I feel fast. I feel fit. So, uh, you know, they, those guys really know what they're doing, and uh, they really pushed me to, to be better. Back at training camp, you said that it wasn't that you wanted to just be as good as you were. You said you were going to come back better, stronger, faster. Is that what you're feeling right now? I still feel a little bit uh, tentative. You know, it's uh, it's it's going to be a mental thing, right? Uh, the doctors, you know, doctors say I'm clear, I'm healthy. Uh, you know, they say I'm, you know, my trainer said you're strong enough. You know, you're lifting more than before. And, you know, it's uh, but it's still it's in the head, right? And it's it's going to take time, and uh, you know, it's going to take time to get over that. You know, if I move this way or if I do this, then you know, then I'm going to feel it or I'm going to hurt. So um, it's going to take time, and uh, you know, I, I feel good. I feel you know. Energetic, and I feel light and fast, and uh, you know. But I still think that I still think I got another notch or two to, you know, that I could get going here. Talk about the whole team effort these past couple of games. I mean, we've seen points from everyone. Everyone really seems to be pitching in. Well, we always uh, it's what we do, right? We uh, we take pride in being a deep offense. You know, if you shut one of us down, then another guy's going to get three or four. You know, tonight it was Doss tonight. You know, he was shooting the lights out. You know. It was me the other night, and you know, a lot of times it's going to be someone else. Keo, you know, Craig, Joey, Rez. Like we, our offense is so deep that you know, if, if one of us is having an off night, we have faith and confidence that somebody else is going to come back and you know, light the lamp. So it's part of our offense, part of our philosophy. Yeah, it almost seemed like it was a mirror image of the opener in that second quarter. You talked after that game about how it felt like the offense hit a dry spell. Whereas it seemed like you guys actually hit your groove there, got a little help with the penalties, but how did that just that whole quarter feel for you guys on the bench? Yo, it was kind of uh, kind of something that we look forward to. Um, our, we have total faith in our in our power play. You know, we weren't doing so good the past couple times, but like I've talked about, our depth is so good, and we have faith in all of our guys. Where you know, it doesn't matter who shoots, that we have faith that they're going to go in. So. Um, once one happens and we get a you know a power play goal, the next one is uh, you know that much more confidence that oh here let's go out there and do it again and you know I think we proved that uh, you know that we have faith in our power play. And also uh, the defense again with uh, seven uh, rookies on the team, which is a uh, franchise uh, first. Uh, the last two games a total of 12 goals after that first game uh, fiasco, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, our defense has always been, uh, ever since I've been here, you know, my sixth year here, so the defense has always been our backbone. Uh, we've always said it. We haven't, uh, you know, made a secret about that. Um, our defense is, you know, who we are. You know, we take pride in, you know, stopping the other team. Even as an offense, you know, as an offense, we take pride in stopping the other team's transition and, you know, trying to make sure that we don't give them fast break goals and continuously fast breaks. And we have faith, so we get off and let them do their jobs, and they get off and let our, let us. The offense do ours, and uh, you know we're a team that doesn't really push transition unless it's there. And uh, I think that's scoring the confidence. Defense has confidence in our 505 offense. Same vice versa. We have confidence that if we let them on the floor without being a fast break, that they're going to do a pretty good job. A lot of the rookies this year are on defense, but do you feel any pressure or added pressure to show them the ropes a little more? No, the rookies that we have this year, you know, they, uh, they they're playing like seasoned veterans. I don't think. Uh, you know that you could tell that there are rookies out there. You know, they uh, scouting uh, did a great job, and you know the management and coaches did a great job picking some quality players. You know they uh, we knew right from day one of camp that you know these guys are coming in and these guys were going to battle us for uh, you know for playing time. Um, I think it's great that they're getting in there. You know it sucks that we had a couple injuries there. And, 
you know, that it had to come to that, but you know, they're they're making their case that they you know got to stay, and uh, that's what you want in an organization. You want the depth, and uh, that's what we have right now. It's a it's a good problem to have. It sucks to be the coaches to have to decide that. <laughs> Everyone's talking about Graham Hasek as the rookie, and rightfully so. But how important has Bomberry been with Evans being out, stepping in at the faceoff dot, and just fighting out there every single faceoff for you guys? Yeah, I think he's uh, Bomber's one of the ones that you know opened some eyes. I don't think a lot of people really had him pegged too high, and I think, you know, right from the first day of training camp, you saw that little potential, the little, you know, the little plays that he makes are aren't rookie plays. You know, it's uh, he's a guy who, you know, is going to sneak up on a lot of guys, and I'm happy he's on our team. Okay.